Hello and welcome to Toucan Oil Pastel with Miss Ashley from Nurture the Knack. Today I'm going to show you how to do these toucans in oil pastel. I've already done a tutorial for these using acrylic paint, but this is for oil pastel and a baby oil technique. Supplies, you'll need some oil pastels, some white art paper, baby oil and a paintbrush, and you can use watercolor for the background if you like, or just to use your oil pastels for the foliage. To start drawing, we want to use an S composition. So just draw a big S on your page and use light sketches. So we don't want to draw really, really dark lines. We're just doing a very light sketch, a very large S on your page. And for the toucan's beaks, we're going to sort of follow these S curves. So for the, starting with the head, follow the curve down for his beak, bringing to a point. And then you're going to draw a horizontal line across to about be just over halfway on your page. So you're, you're doing a portrait page, so just over halfway. And that will be the beginning of his beak where his connects with his head. So we're just roughing in his beak here. And you'll find, you can have a look on Google for some photos of Toucans, you'll find a lot of them have these colored patches on their beak. So I'm just sketching in some colored patches on his beak, the front on the tip, on sort of his chin, and then around his eye patch, they, they have these colored patches. So I've just sketched that in. And then on your second S curve, follow that curve along for your beak as well. So sketch in your bottom beak. Then we're just going to put the eyes in. The eyes on a toucan have these really like a big pupil with a really band of bright color around or a really colorful iris. So they're all they come in all different colors. You can do your toucan in any color you like, follow the same colors as mine. So for the second toucan, same thing. We are following the S curve for his beak and going just past halfway on a, with a horizontal line for the bottom of his beak. And then from there, that's where the line will go up for his face, where his beak connects to his head and then down his chin to his belly. So again, just sketching in some of these colorful bands that these toucans have and placing his eye next to his beak. It's quite a large eye that these birds have. And then just sketching in his eye patch. So it doesn't have to be the same shape as the one above. They come in all different shapes and sizes. From here, I'm just going to erase my sketches for the S and um, what I was doing my rough sketches in. So you could do the same if you have a few pencil lines that you need to get rid of. So once you've erased all of your lines, you could go over your, your true sketch or your, your line again and just rough in those patches on the beak one more time. We won't see our pencil lines because we're going to trace over top with our oil pastels, but this just gives a good indication of where you want your colored patches and your contour lines when you draw these in with your colored pastels. So we're just putting in your colored patches for his beak around his eye and they usually have one sort of on their going down to their belly so we won't see the too much of the the body with these it's just the the two heads of the two can And again, just roughing in the patches. So you could do two completely different beak shapes and eye patch shapes um, for your toucans. 
I think I've done a slightly different one for each beak here. So from here, we are just taking a black oil pastel and going over the areas where there will be a black beak or a black body. So I won't trace where the beak or the body will be an orange or a yellow, it's just anywhere where I'm going to be coloring in black, I'm just tracing over these lines. going to do the same colors you can follow along but so you, you can, can follow do any colors, colors you like. as i am or good job ethan so they really start coming to life when you get the black the outlines it looks much better right? and do so any we color add you the... like i'm going to start oh, yeah, with red you've already and done it. i'm good. going Perfect. to go around the top toucan's eye patch starting at the top so i'm, I'm going to do all of my colors first rather than um, now the coloring so, the black in just because do, there is quite the a lot of black on the body the and if you haven't used oil pastels before I'm they just have my, um my they're really smudging, awesome so they're I super creamy the vibrant much more vibrant and creamy um to oh, blend sorry. than crown so i've just but i've just outlined all the black and i'm starting smudge. with the eye so, i'm gonna do red um, orange and yellow in i want to rest patch, my hand on my color. page so, so if i had colored do... it all in black initially then i would get black smudges you're everywhere. gonna do the same so i'm just gonna start with my colors here From here I'm going to grab um, like a dark blue oil pastel for the eye. I'm going to make a turquoise or aqua color. So I'm going to add my blue first, then some green and I'll put a touch of yellow over top to make an aqua eye. You'll notice that the toucans usually have a really, really bright um, contrasting color for their eye versus their eye patch. So that's what I've done here. Next, I'm going to take my orange and from the red, I'm going to be fading it from red down to orange to yellow on the body. So don't worry about blending your colors because when we get the oil, the baby oil afterwards, um, it's going to blend all of the colors together really beautifully. So you can go over top of it a little bit in between each color just to help it blend at the end. So just going to erase the lines that don't have um, oil pastel on them. I'm going to be using probably lighter colors and I don't want my pencil line to show through the oil pastel. So if you want to do the same, you can just erase the pencil line. Try not to touch the oil pastel with your rubber or eraser um, because it will smudge. So just be very careful of that. Okay, from here, just starting adding some other colors. Make it really colorful, so not just um, one color, a couple colors. I like to um, contrast with blues and greens with your red and oranges. And then the rest of the, the beak and the body is black. So from here, you can add some jungle foliage, some ferns, palm fronds, jungle leaves, and leave it that way. Or you could add some watercolor and you just simply paint uh, watercolor over the background as I've done here your water your oil pastel will pop through the watercolor From here we will take a little dish of baby oil and a paintbrush a little goes a long way you really only need um, a couple drops per section um, it blends it looks really oily and greasy but after about a half an hour, it will um, sort of soak into the paper and blend. And this is what it looks like at the end. So do your colors first and then do the black after because every time you dip your brush in, a little bit of the color comes off and you don't want to taint the oil with the black. So this is what it looks like. And this is a year three student that has done this project. She did a really, really awesome job. Um, her parents were quite impressed with her art. So. Um, easy, anyone can do it, suitable for all ages, and enjoy, have fun!